In this video, I provide an update on the wildfire outlook for the United States and Canada for August and September of 2023. For those of you who may not have seen it, I previously posted a short video on the North American wildfire outlook that included the months of June and July of 2023. A link to the earlier video is provided in the description for this video. As we can see from this map, above average to well above average wildfire risk continues to plague much of Canada during the month of August. The wildfire risk for the very eastern provinces drops back into the average level in the easternmost provinces, but much of the rest of Canada can expect the extreme fire season of 2023 to continue unabated. As a result, it is likely that the dangerous smoke conditions and poor air quality caused by these fires will continue both in Canada and in parts of the United States. This, this spring and summer, much of Canada has been experiencing exceptionally warm and dry weather. Climate change likely has been a major contributor to this warm and dry weather pattern because the very northern part of the planet has been warming more rapidly than the rest of the planet as a consequence of a pernicious positive feedback effect as sea ice declines in the Arctic regions. Similar hot dry weather has been noted in parts of Siberia where 90 degree temperatures and also many wildfires have been experienced. This map shows the August 2023 wildfire outlook for the United States. Most of the country, including Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, should see normal wildfire behavior for the month of August. However, it is important to note that normal wildfire behavior means behavior close to the average of the past 10 years. So we likely will still experience some major wildfires in the parts of the United States shown in white on this map during August. In addition, some parts of the United States, including parts of the Northwest, the upper Midwest, and parts of New England and New York will have above average potential for wildfires in August. Because of the heavy snowpack left by the winter storms, a small part of California will see a below average potential for wildfires. By September of 2023, Canada should begin to see some reduction in the potential for wildfires, but more than 50% of the country will still be in the above average or well above average category. September also should bring a reduction in the wildfire potential for the United States, with above normal wildfire potential only in a relatively small part of the Pacific Northwest. We should keep in mind, however, that the fire season in the southwestern part of the United States often increases during the fall months, when Santa Ana wind events can bring high temperatures and low humidity to the region. I hope you have found this discussion informative. If you have any questions, please note them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them.